this window. Go to the Otana City Council meeting for Tuesday, November 21st, 2017 to order. Can we have roll call, please. Council Member Dodson. Here. Burbank. Here. Rainey. Here. Svenby. Here. Voss. Here. Volkerberg. Here. Schultz. Here. And Mayor Coons. Here. We have all seven of the council and the mayor present. Everyone, please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome everyone on a cool windy night in Owatonna. We're glad to be here. Um, so first thing up is uh, the approval of the agenda. There are no changes, so I would look for a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Motion by Brent to approve the agenda. Your second? Second. Second by Nate. Any discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? The uh, agenda is approved. There's no public hearings tonight. But Mayor Tom, you have a couple of proclamations for us. I do, and uh, the first one is Otana Senior High School DECA. DECA Week Proclamation, November 13th to the 17th, uh, 2017. And it reads, whereas this school is concerned with the business education and training of students for productive, satisfying careers, and whereas DECA is recognized by the United States of Department of Education as a national career and technical student organization and is an equal part of career and technical education. And whereas DECA is helping to develop leadership abilities, competency in business, marketing, entrepreneurship, and interest in American business system. Now therefore I do hereby designate November 13th to the 17th, 2017 as DECA week and urge all citizens to assist in according this observation, the attention and importance it is so rightly entitled. Assigned Thomas A. Kuntz, Mayor of the City of Otana. Decker is a great program for our high school. Uh, there are several students that are involved in it. Uh, they uh, start businesses, they sell stock, they do a lot of different things. So uh, we need to fully support that program through our school system. The other one is the proclamation, the City of Otana, whereas the City of Otana in the state of Minnesota has a significant interest in the continued vitality of general aviation, aircraft manufacturing, aviation education institutions, aviation organizations, and community airports. And whereas general aviation and the Otana Degner Regional Airport has an immense economic impact on the city of Owatonna, and whereas Minnesota is home to 135 public use airports, which serve 11,972 pilots and 5,679 active general aviation aircraft, and whereas Minnesota is home to 111 fixed-based operators, 52 repair stations, 83 helicopters, 13 FAA approved pilot schools, 2,033 flight students, and 2,627 flight instructors. And whereas general aviation in Minnesota contributes over 5.3 billion to the state's economic annually, and whereas general aviation not only supports Minnesota ec economically, it improves overall quality of life by supporting emergency medical and health care services, law enforcement, firefighters, disaster relief, and by transporting business travelers to the destination quickly and safely. And whereas the nation's aviation infrastructure represents an important public benefit and con congressional oversight should be in place of this system to ensure that it remains a public system and serves community of all sizes. Now I Thomas A. Kuntz, Mayor of the City of Otana, to hereby proclaim general aviation a vital strategic resource to the City of Otana and declare November 2017 to be General Aviation Month, dated this 21st day of November 2017. Okay, thank you, Mayor. Uh, next up is the consent agenda, and that consists of minutes, permits, and licenses 
uh, board and commission reports, uh, department monthly reports, contracts, agreements, and other miscellaneous items that are grouped together for the council to look at uh, previous to the meeting, prior to the meeting, and vote on collectively. So I would look for a motion on the consent agenda. Motion to approve the consent agenda. Motion by Jeff to approve the consent agenda. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Dave. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, consent agenda is approved. Next up is action items, and first up is the finance report, and we'll go to Vice President Rainey to read the finance report. Thank you. Bills over $20,000 tonight are as follows, $22,969 to American Engineering Testing, $31,769 to Clark Equipment for a skid steer loader, $42,500 Department of Corrections, that is the work release crew, semi-annual payment, $21,400 Oatana Heating and Cooling for IT Equipment Room, $51,556 to the Steele County Auditor, that is the third quarter LEC shared costs, $67,500 Wenzel Construction, that is to demo the houses on the flood mitigation DNR grant. Other expenditures tonight are $306,596, making tonight's total expenditures for your, present for approval of $544,291.31. Thank you, Kevin. We've heard the finance report. I would look for a motion. Motion to approve. Motion by Nate to approve the finance report. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Brent. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, next up are uh, resolutions. The first one item on the agenda is 3.3.1 resolution 111-17 to approve the name and address changes on Colmeyer Drive. And Troy, I guess you're first up tonight. Yeah, so this is being prompted uh, mainly, we, we talked about doing uh, some improvements to um, the road that takes you into uh, Lake Colmeyer and the parking area. The funding options we're looking at um, would some of them will require that it be for a street, um, and that's not been named a street. Uh, the Beach House basically has a uh, Mosier Avenue address. And so this resolution is just designating uh, that driveway that takes you from Mosier to the Beach House as Colmeyer Drive. Um, we're all, we would also be changing uh, the address of the Beach House to 1295 Colmeyer Drive. That'll be in a line with our emergency 911 addressing standards uh, that we have. Um, there would just be some minor things that would be needed. Uh, street sign, uh, the address on the building, and, um, and that would be a, about it. So staff would recommend approval of naming of the, what's considered the driveway into Lake Colmeyer is Colmeyer Drive. Okay, thank you, Troy. Any questions of Troy on this matter? Motion to approve. Motion by Kevin to approve uh, resolution 111-17. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Nate. Any discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item is 3.3.2 resolution 112-17 to declare costs and authorize preparation of assessments for the 2017 street and utility projects. And we'll go to Chris for this one. Thank you, Greg. The costs for our annual street and utility project are declared to be that $1.2 million that's uh, outlined in the resolution. Of those costs, $493,819.46 will be proposed as assessments. Uh, the resolution sets forth the date of public hearing on these assessments for December 19th. Um, this is the next step in the process of approving those costs for assessments. Um, and uh, staff would recommend approval. Okay, thank you, Chris. Any questions of Chris? I'd look for a motion. So moved. Motion by uh, Nate to approve resolution 112-17. Second. Okay. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> Second by Kevin. Uh, any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Next item up is item 3.3. 
12.3 resolution 113-17 to set a date for a public hearing to consider the proposed assessments for the 2017 street and utility project and we'll go back to chris for this so this resolution merely um outlines the date or establishes the date of the public hearing as that December 19th. So staff would recommend approval. Thank you, Chris. Uh, your motion for this? Motion to approve. Motion by Kevin to approve resolution 113-17. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Dave. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next is 3.3.4, resolution 114-17, to approve the final plat for the Straight River edition. And Troy, you're up. Okay, at the last meeting, you approved the preliminary uh, plat. Um, this is just the splitting of a, of a single family lot into two, uh, creating another buildable lot. This is on Lamont Road where we just had improvements. So there's a little over $15,000 in pending uh, assessments against the property that'll have to be uh, reapportioned uh, between the two. Um, there are uh, services that will need to go into that second lot and those will happen at the time that a building permit is pulled for that. We didn't want uh, them to go back into the street right after uh, completing the improvements. Uh, so staff would recommend approval as per planning commission with the conditions listed on the staff report. Okay, thank you, Troy. Any additional questions for Troy? There be nine. Look for a motion. Motion to approve. Motion by Kevin to approve resolution 114-17. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Doug. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item 3.3.5, resolution 115-17, to approve a partial split for the property at 634 and 650 Bridge Street West by Bert and Pat Farrington. And Troy, we're back to you. So currently on this parcel, there are two buildings. Uh, Community Bank is on uh, this parcel as well as an office building to the east. Uh, the Barringtons would like to split the property so that each of the buildings could be owned separately um, and are proposing a split that would go down uh, that, that common driveway between the two buildings. Um, the applicant would need to provide a joint parking access and maintenance agreement for the parking lot areas. This will also cover the shared uh, driveway uh, that runs in between the two. Um, the staff is recommending that it go straight in line with that joint driveway, uh, even though it doesn't provide 100 foot of frontage on Bridge Street. Um, it, it is the most logical uh, place to do it. The, intention of the owners is there's a house that sits in front of that office building uh, they would like to purchase that at some point in time and and combine that as part of the parcel uh, for that building on the east side so i did go to planning commission uh, at their last meeting and they did recommend they had no objections and they did recommend approval so staff would recommend approval uh, for the lot split okay thank you troy any questions for troy on this matter be nine. Look for a motion. Motion to approve. Motion by Brent to approve resolution 115-17. Do I hear a second? Second. Second by Nate. Any further discussion? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. That uh, concludes our action items for the evening. Uh, next on the agenda is public comment. Anyone in the uh, audience that wishes to uh, make any comments, please come to the uh, Microphone sign in and try to keep your comments to two minutes or less to items not on the agenda. It appears we have no one here this evening, so we'll go right to uh, council comments. And first up is Nate. I wouldn't say no one's here, Jim. Well, I should ask that. I only wanted to make a comment. Is <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, I uh, just uh, had, had the opportunity to attend the transition housing event. I know the mayor was there Saturday night. Um, it was a great event, so. Uh, to have another one and uh, I can attend. Thank you. Have a happy Thanksgiving as well. Uh, Dave. Same thing we just said, have a safe <laughs> Thanksgiving as well. Thank you, Dave. Kevin. Uh, have a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, football team is playing for the state championship Saturday and if it, we have fans anything close to what we had last Friday night or Saturday night, it'll be exciting up there. 
and the congratulations to the to the football players in the school. They've had a successful season. Thank you, Kevin. Brent? I um, just want to remind everyone that um, just Saturday, November 25th is Small Business Day, so please get out and support your small businesses in the community. Good idea. Doug? I just want to wish, wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving and uh, good luck to Coach Williams and all the boys. Go get another title for us. Jeff? Uh, nothing further to add. Okay. Mr. Mayor? You know, I was privileged too to attend with Kevin here at the Transitional Housing Musical that was at Dice School. We are so blessed with such great music people in Owatonna and the, uh, the singing and the playing. It was just a fantastic opportunity. So, And Owatonna is truly blessed with uh, everything, so we have got a lot to be thankful for on Thursday. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Great. Chris? I have just a couple of things. Just a reminder about the Holiday Lighted Parade, which will be held uh, downtown November 30th, uh, beginning 6 p.m., kind of kicking off our holiday shopping season downtown with our Main Street and everyone. Also, the Canadian Pacific Holiday Train will be coming to Owatonna on December 5th. It'll stop at the same place it stopped before, um, over by the bus company and wingers out there. Um, it'll be in town at 4.05 to be precise. They um, have a, about a half hour where they have some musical entertainment and then they present a check to our, our local food shelf and, and then they move on to the next town. So some fun things to look forward to. Great. Thank you, Chris. And I just wanted to uh, thank all the council members and uh, Mayor and, and Chris for uh, atten we attended the uh, Coalition of Greater Minnesota Cities this past week. A lot of people don't realize that uh, Part of our job is we interact with the state uh, legislature and fight for things for the city to make it, uh, Owatonna a better place. And uh, we, we get together every now and then and talk about what our strategy is to, uh, uh, to accomplish that goal. So uh, thank you for all those who attended. And I wish, like to wish everybody happy uh, Thanksgiving. And that being said, I look for a motion to adjourn. So move. Motion by Kevin to adjourn. Do you a second? Second. Second by Nate. I'm going to let you vote tonight. I didn't last time. <laughs> so is there any, I'm assuming there's no further discussion. So all those in favor of adjourning, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We're done. Thank you. Is this a new record?